Let's start off the second hour by heading to Ed. He's here in Orlando, Florida. Ed, tell us what's going on with that 07 Ford Edge. Uh, hey, Larry, how you doing? Um, it's a two, it's, uh, good, good. It's a 2007 Ford Edge. Got a 3.5 uh, um, motor and a six-speed transmission. Okay. Uh, it's a Navy's car. We had it one CV joint replaced, which I would do both myself. But uh, he took it back to the mechanic because he's still getting the shimmy. He's had a little iron, he's had the tires balanced. And I'm leaning towards the other CV joint, but they're telling me it's a transmission. So, do you know anything about these transmissions? Is that possible? It's uh, a. <laughs> they, they call. Do you know what, whether this one is a. Do you know whether it's a front-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive? It is a front-wheel drive. It's just front-wheel drive? Yes, sir. Okay, it's important I know that because I have to think in terms of no rear end, no no rear differential and no big, long drive shaft coming off of the... So if it's just a front-wheel drive and they got a vibration at pretty much what, just highway speeds? Uh, I don't even think it's highway speed. I think it's local. I think it's maybe like somewhere on the 45, 50 mile an hour. Okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's not my car. It's, it's my neighbor's. You know, so I'm I trying understand. to help him. So. I, you know, I'm, I, I kind of agree with you, Ed. Uh, I, I really do. I think that he... Do you know how many miles are on the thing? Yeah, it's about 110. Okay. Um... I'm thinking more along the lines of of maybe an inner joint, uh, an inner drive axle joint. Usually, those are the ones that'll cause you a vibration at you know highway speeds and stuff. The outer ones, you know, if you you know how an old CV joint will get. You know, if, if the boot's bad on it and it gets debris in it, you go you ma- you know you make a tight turn, you'll hear it clacking or making noise. But they usually don't cause the yeah. yeah they don't they if you're going straight those outer ones don't normally cause vibration problems. It's usually the inner ones. Um, let, let me right. let me well, let me back to transfer. Yes, yes. Case, right? Exactly. It's the inner ones. Once they get some wear to them, uh, they they will start to, the way that they're made. Uh, the the bearing inside of it will try to climb the the outer casing, and, and that'll it it throws the drive axle out of alignment, and and it'll cause you a vibration. And you know that's another thing too. A lot of people don't realize if you've got bad mounts on a front wheel drive car, it will throw the drive axle alignment off too. You, you see what I'm saying? You, you have to those those drive axles have to be aligned from the transmission to your spindles and your hubs. If you've got a bad mount on one, it may not be causing the engine to flop up and down. But what it'll do is it'll throw the drive axle alignment off. And if and if that happens, then you can get vibrations because of that too. You know, for I mean, I've seen transmissions cause a vibration like that, but it's so rare. I, I wouldn't bet forty two hundred dollars on it. Um, not without getting a second and a third and a fourth second opinion. <laughs> I, I I think that it might be worth some, somebody else just maybe taking a little bit of a test drive with it and 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 see what can come up with. I'll tell you like this, Ed. You know what's the harm of putting two drive axles in it? You know, I mean, I it, it's so normal that the drive axles would cause this problem. I would much rather take a shot in the dark of throwing two drive axles in it uh, as opposed to spending a, a $4,200 on a maybe transmission because, you know, the vibrations, transmissions, it's possible, but it's not. I doubt that that would be the issue. Uh, the other thing, too, is, um, and, it, and the reason I'm going to bring this up is because we got one down at the shop right now. 07 Ford Edge, same exact car. And we're getting ready to put a motor in it. It's got right at 100,000 mile on it. Does that sound like anything that you know here? Yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Okay, uh, we got the same car sitting out at the shop right now. And it just happened to be one of my wife's clients. She's a realist, realtor. And she's, they, they, <laughs> that motor that's in that car, 3.5 V6, uh, it's got that internal water pump. 
and those things let go and it fills the engine full of coolant and guess what they buy a motor at a hundred thousand mile uh, you won't know that the water pump is leaking until the engine's full of coolant and then you've done ruined the engine uh, and it, it th that car at that age it's it's hard to it's hard to justify putting a new motor in it you know so you need to have them do the research and look at that water pump. Just put in 07 Ford Edge, Google it, and read up on it to see what we're dealing with here. But the water pump in that engine needs to be replaced at that age. If not, all they're doing is waiting for it to go bad and take the engine out. So the transmission or the vibration will be the least of their problem if they lose an engine. So now that I've got you thoroughly you know confused and done shook you upside down trying to get all the pennies out of your pocket I'll leave you with that but uh, like I always say if we can help you you let us know I wish you the best